What's up guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to catch stripers or striped bass in the Sacramento River. So stay tuned and I'll teach you guys how to catch them. Alright, so if we first want to catch fish or stripers on the Sacramento River, what we first have to understand is their seasonal movements and patterns. So what they start off with is they start off in the bay area in the ocean and eventually they work their way through and in, into the, the California Delta and eventually they go through all that and eventually they move up and into the Sacramento River where we are right now and to the Cortland, the, Clarks, the Clarksburg area, the Hood, the Freeport, the Pocket and eventually they either go to the American River or they go all the way up into the Feather River. Now the reason why they come into these rivers, into the Sacramento River and the American and all the way up into the Feather is they come in to spawn and they come in to um, feed as well. So, because in order to spawn and to mate, it costs a lot of energy. So they have to eat when they come into these rivers. Now where they spawn and where they feed is most important because that's where you're going to catch your fish and your mo that's where your high percentage of landing a big one is going to be. Now where they usually spawn and feed is in the morning and in these shoals, sand flats, or sandbars. Now if you need some spots, um, I have a video I'll link up in the top right hand corner or in the top link in the description. Or just go check out my YouTube page and I have a video on um, where you can catch them on the sand flats and stuff like that. So go check out that video if you need some spots. All right, so the easiest way to catch these stripers um, on these shoals and sand flats is just use bait. Some of the baits that I use is sardines, bloodworms, and powerworms. And what I notice is that you usually get you usually get the bigger fish on the worms, like the bloodworms and powerworms and stuff like that. And you also get the occasional good one on a sardine as well. Um, you'll catch them pretty much on all those three baits, though. So yeah. But if you're early enough in the morning, you'll see them busting and chasing bait, and you'll see them blowing up on the surface. So a good way to catch them is on top water or on swim baits. So yeah, if you see them boiling, just cast to that area and reel your swim bait through or work your top water on top. Now, if you don't want to throw bait and you want to throw some lures for them, well, what you can do is go to a deep, rocky area and um, areas such as Cortland or Paintersville. And uh, if you need some spots, I got you. Um, go check out the video, um, bank fishing spots on the Sacramento River, and um, or just click on the link of my description or my ch YouTube channel page, and I give you guys some good bank fishing striper spots. So yeah. All right, so what you wanna do when you get to these rocky areas is it's very deep. So all you gotta do is just tie on your favorite jerk bait and just toss out there in the middle of the river or you can parallel the bank with the jerk bait because that's when the stripers will bite anyways. So if you toss out there in the middle of the river, what you can do is jerk your jerk bait all the way back to you and eventually it would make it to the edge of the river, like towards paralleling the river and you keep on working it back to you because that's the strike zone. That's where you get bit most of the time. Or what you can do is to skip the entire process and just parallel the bank with your jerk bait and work it back to you. I've gotten bit both ways, so yeah. And if that year we have a lot of water, a lot of rain, and the water's like super high and it's like chocolate milk color and it's just super dirty, um, bait fishing will outfish lure fishing anytime when the water is that high and muddy. They can just find it better and they just tend to eat the bait better than the lures. So yeah, if the water's high, muddy, bait fishing is the way to go. And what I notice is that when it's high and muddy, usually the fishing, the fish come up the river faster than um, on low water years and they come earlier. Like if they come in March weather, then on low water years, they won't come in until like April. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. All right, so um, on some days, some days are gonna be sunny and some days are gonna be cloudy and rainy during the springtime. And um, most of the time, the cloudy and rainy days are always gonna be more better fishing-wise. Um, like if you see here, this video clip, you see I'm under a poncho right now. It was raining and I'm this fish I'm hooked up into right now is like a 23-incher. And um, it works for bait fishing and lure fishing at the same time. They're just more actively feeding 
um, they have an advantage over the bait fish because the bait fish can't see them as well. So yeah, on the overcast and rainy days, if you can, go ahead and get out there. Um, it's really good fishing for bait fishing and lure fishing at the same time. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I hope these help you guys catch more fish. Um, I'm sure if you implement these tips I gave you, this will help you catch more quantity and quality stripers. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and tight lines.